Hi, Roger Peterson here. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to avoid property theft in Costa Rica. Now you're thinking, property theft? What is that? Bought my property, everything should be secure, should be guaranteed, right? Not necessarily so. In Costa Rica, there have been gangs that target properties that are being left uh, unattended by their owners. Here's the way the call typically goes when we get a information about somebody being a victim of a property theft. They generally call us and tell us, Roger, we bought a piece of property in Costa Rica. We were going to sell that property this year, but as we went and get prepared for closing, we realized that somebody had sold the property out from under us. What do we do? Once you've been a victim of property theft, the only thing you can do at that point is to file two actions. One is to file an administrative action at the National Registry, asking them to place an administrative warning on your title. The second thing you need to do immediately is file a criminal action. And in that criminal action, you need to request that the judge file an annotation on the title indicating that there's a criminal complaint on that property. Now you say, how does this happen? This happens because in Costa Rica, the notary public is vested with a lot of power as an agent of the state. It is the Costa Rica notary that acts as the recorder of title deeds in Costa Rica. That gives the notary public faith. That means whatever the notary says happened cannot be questioned by the recording authorities. On occasions, you have an innocent notary as well that was presented with very good quality fraudulent identification documents um, so that the notary was in turn fooled uh, by these gangs as well. However, on other occasions, you have crooked notaries that are accomplices with these gangs and are working jointly with these gangs to carry out these frauds. Now, when you become the victim of property theft in Costa Rica, unfortunately, you tend to become a victim again. Let me explain. The first time you're a victim, obviously, because they've taken your property. The second time is because as you enter into the judicial system and asking for a revindication for a return of your property due to this theft that's been committed against you, the system is very slow and inefficient in working through uh, that scenario. As a result of this, the National Registry, which is the recording office of Costa Rica, does provide a system of alerts called, rightly so, Alerta. And if you subscribe and pay into their system, they will notify you by email whenever there is any movement or transaction on your property title. How do you protect yourself? Number one, if you have your property in a corporation, keep custody of your corporate books. Make sure you know where they are. Make sure you have them in a secure place so that nobody can take and do anything in your corporate books without your knowledge. Two, on some occasions what we do is we put mortgage bonds on the property. What is a mortgage bond? A mortgage bond is a lien on the particular real estate for a set value. You set the value. For example, you create a mortgage bond for $50,000. That lien will be put on your property. The owner of the mortgage bond is you, the property owner, as the issuer of that bond. Now, it's not a total protection, but at least it makes your property less attractive to these gangs.